The National Human Rights Commission, NHRC, has stressed on the need for continuous civil-military relationship as it aimed at reducing human rights abuse. The Executive Secretary of the NHRC, Tony Ojuku, while speaking at the Capacity Building Training organized for military officers in Yobe, the Adamawa State Capital, Ojuku says such training for military officers will enhance civil-military relationship, thereby leading to the respect for human rights. This has underscored the importance of this training on mainstreaming principles of respect for human rights and civilian protection into the counter-insurgency operations. This will not only reduce the casualty level, it will also reduce the humanitarian consequences of internal displacements and the protection challenges arising therefrom. You don't have to remind anybody in prison. As far as it's available, make sure that the condition you are given is met so that the person can go home and come for his trial. So that too is in place. So if I, now, as it is now, we don't have so many congestion in our prisons because of these things we are putting in place. And we continue to put them in place and we achieve what we want to achieve. Human rights training is uh, going to go a long way in enhancing the personnel of the armed forces ability to carry out their jobs and protect the human rights of people in which we deal with within our area of responsibility. It will also help us in the discharge of our constitutional roles in line with the Chief of Army Staff's vision to be able to protect and guide and to also safeguard the human rights of civilians and people within our area of responsibility.